Delonyx regia is a species of flowering plant in bean family. It is noted for its fern-like leaves and flamboyant display of orange-red flowers over summer. In many tropical parts of the world, it is grown as ornamental tree and in English, it is given the name Royal Poinciana, flamboyant flame of the forest due to its red color flowers. It also has medicinal uses like anti-diabetic activity, antibacterial activity, anti-diarrheal activity and other such stuffs. But before consuming, just consult your doctor and it also adds the beauty to our environment due to its excellent redolent red flowers. Hi everyone, so now let's try to understand the parts of this Gulmohar flower, scientific name Delonyx regia and I'm going to dissect this flower and show you the different parts. Now this entire flower, beautiful flower is categorized into two main parts. First one is vegetative part which consists of these petals and these sepals. Vegetative part means the part of the flower which do not take part in the reproduction. And the central part that is this part, that is the reproductive part which contains the male and female reproductive part. This is a bisexual flower which contains both the parts in it. Now, these beautiful leaf-like structures that you see are referred as petals. So this single one is one petal second petal three four five so there are five petals in each gulmohar flower as well as there are five sepals these are sepals one two three four and five so these five petals and five sepals are there in all the gulmohar flowers apart from that if you look at this particular petal this is quite different from the other one in terms of the color it is generally believed that this petal attracts the insects for the pollination. So there is slight variance in the size of the petals as well and all petals combinedly are referred as corolla. So these five petals totally combinedly are referred as corolla and the single one is sepal. So there are total five sepals and all five sepals are combinedly referred as calyx. Right? So this bottom part, the base part of the female reproductive part, this one. Now this part is referred as thalamus above which the ovary resides and this long stick like structure is referred as pedicel over which the whole flower rests. So now let me remove all the petals one by one. These are the sepals, all sepals combinedly are referred as calyx, so I am going to remove them gently. All the sepals, these are combinedly referred as calyx. Now the most important part to understand are the male and female reproductive parts of this flower. So this is the main part of the flower which is the reproductive part of the flower which contains male reproductive part and female reproductive part. Now these stick like structures with their heads are the male part. I am going to remove one. This male part, this single male part is referred as stamen. Now the head of the stamen is referred as anther and the remaining tube-like structure is referred as filament. Now this anther contains pollen grains in it. There are 10 such stamen in each of the gulmohar flowers. Correct? And there is only one single 
female reproductive part which will be seen without the head and it is occupying the central place so all the male parts they surround the female parts so now let me detach all the stamens now this one this is the entire female reproductive part this female reproductive part is referred as pistil sometimes it is also referred as carpel so this single unit is the female reproductive part called pistil the head of this pistil is referred as stigma this tube like structure is referred as style and the base of the female reproductive part is quite so swollen as you can see this is called ovary this green color swollen part it contains ovules in it right and if there are lot of male reproductive parts in a flower then all these male reproductive parts together are referred as androecium so single is the male part and all these male parts together are referred as androecium now since this is the only one single female reproductive part unit so you may call this as pistil if there are many pistils then all together are referred as gynoecium but since there is only one pistil over here this is itself referred as gynoecium so now let me arrange it on a white piece of paper with the names in it so here are all the parts of the dissected flower arranged on this white paper with all the parts written on it so this is the stamen which is the male part which consists of anthrin filament there are 10 such stamens male parts and all such all together male parts are referred as androecium now this is the female reproductive part which is referred as pistil it is also sometimes referred as carpel but i just want to beg your pardon that this thalamus is not a part of this pistil but i could not remove the entire female reproductive part from it the pollen grains are found inside the anther one such leaf like structure beautiful leaf like structure is referred as petal and all such petals combinedly are to referred as corolla now this is the this is the single sepal and all sepals combinedly are referred as calyx and this is the pedicel part which was supporting the flower so hopefully guys you have enjoyed the explanation and please post your valuable comments and thank you for watching the video